Hey everyone, so today we will see the notion of algebraic multiplicity, the notion of eigenspaces, then the notion of geometric multiplicity and then we will see what is the connection between eigenspaces and the geometric multiplicity and also what is the relation between algebraic and geometric multiplicity. So that's what the plan is and how we are going to understand this concept with the help of an example. So I will take an example and side by side I will connect this top this concepts with that example so it will be easy for you to understand so let's go for the first example so consider a 3 cross 3 matrix you can observe it's a nice matrix because it's an upper triangular matrix so for simplicity i have taken the simple matrix so that the calculation won't be much bigger so whenever you see a question on algebraic geometric or eigenspaces your first step is you will find the eigenvalues for the given matrix Okay, how do you find the eigenvalues? You know that you try to solve the characteristic equation. What is characteristic equation? Now, now once you find the eigenvalue, now comes algebraic multiplicity in the picture. So what is algebraic multiplicity? So it is related with an eigenvalue. So you take lambda equal to 4. Now you see how many times this 4 is repeated. Then that number is called as the algebraic multiplicity. So algebraic multiplicity for lambda equal to 4 is how much? 1 because 4 is occurring only once. What is algebraic multiplicity for lambda equal to 7? As you can see 7 is repeating twice therefore algebraic multiplicity is 2. So it's very simple. Once you find the eigenvalues just see how many times it, it is getting repeated. That's all. Okay. So good. Now we have the eigenvalues. We have the algebraic multiplicity. Good. So we are done with the first notion. Now what do you do? You first find the eigenvectors. So let's do one by one. Let's first find the eigenvector for lambda equal to 4. How do you find? You solve this system a minus lambda i into v bar equal to 0 bar. So if you do this over here, you get 0, 5, 6, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3 into v1 v2 v3 equal to 0 bar 0 bar means 0 0 0 and here if you try to solve your v2 will be 0 your v3 will come out to be 0 and you won't get any condition on v1 okay so therefore what is your v bar your v bar is nothing but v1 0 0 and you can take out v1 outside it is 1 0 0 where what is v1 it is a non-zero real number because we always take the non-zero eigenvectors. So you take all multiples of 1, 0, 0. That means you take all vectors on the x-axis in my three-dimensional space except the origin. Because it is multiple of 1, 0, 0. Okay. So once you find the eigenvector, then comes the notion of eigenspace. Now see if I take this collection, if I call say E prime. What is E prime? It is collection of all eigenvectors for lambda equal to 4 v1 is what it's a non-zero real number now you can see this is clearly a subset of r3 because we're in a it's a 3 cross 3 matrix so our domain is r3 so even e prime is a subset of r3 but is it a subspace of r3 no it's not a subspace why because zero vector is not here in a, sub, in a space you should always have a zero vector so since zero vector is not here therefore it's not a subspace you can check that the vector addition and scalar multiplication will be satisfied but the only problem is the zero okay scalar multiplication also the non-zero scalar multiplication so since zero is the problem so what you do is you call e as e prime union zero vector you attach zero vector to this set then your this forms a subspace or in other language what is my e my e is nothing but so whenever you have a set which is not a subspace what you take you take the span of that set because spanning of a set is always a subspace so what is your e it is nothing but you take the span of e prime or in other words in this scenario it is span of which vector one zero zero and then this forms a subspace of R3. And this is a nice subspace. I mean, we give it a name to this and the name is eigenspace. So eigenspace is nothing but 
So eigen space is always associated to an eigen value, same as the algebraic multiplicity. So eigen space e. So you will write e eigen space for lambda equal to four. So what is eigen space for lambda equal to four? It is the spanning of this set. Okay, and that's why the word space eigen because of this eigen vectors and all, and eigen space because it forms a subspace of R three. Okay, so that's what we mean by the eigen space. and then comes the geometric multiplicity so now since it is a space whenever you have a space you can talk about the basis you can talk about the dimension and now here as you can see your space is nothing but it's a span of only one vector 1 0 0 that means what what is the basis this acts as a basis so basis has only one vector so what is your basis in this case it's only one vector 1 0 0 and therefore what is the dimension so dimension of an eigen space for lambda equal to 4 is nothing but 1 okay because there is only one vector so geometric multiplicity is nothing but the dimension of the eigen space your geometric multiplicity is nothing but the dimension of the eigen space or in other words your geometric multiplicity is nothing but it's the number of linearly independent eigen vectors for a given eigen value okay so in this case as you can see there was only one vector therefore you can say the geometric multiplicity is 1 if they ask you basis you can say that this is the basis or since it is only one linearly independent eigen vector therefore the dimension is 1 that is geometric multiplicity is 1 that is one way other ways also is you can see the number of free variables now in this case i erased over here i wrote v1 into 100 so what was my v1 it was a free variable so since number of free variable is 1 therefore geometric multiplicity is 1 that's not a good way to tell but just for the understanding purpose i have told you in terms of free variable as well but if someone ask you what is geometric multiplicity it is number of linearly independent vectors okay because eigen vectors are infinite but how many linearly independent are there it is only 1 0 0 because all others are multiple of 1 0 0 so yeah that's what the notion of geometric multiplicity is now let's do the same thing for lambda equal to 7 so when your lambda is 7 you do a minus 7i into v bar is 0 you do a minus 7i you get this thing over here and then first row will imply this equation so your v1 is nothing but this so what is our v bar v1 v2 v3 you substitute the value of v1 and then you separate v2 and v3 so v2 into 5 by 3 1 0 and v3 into 2 0 1 now as you can see number of free variables are 2 so from here you can see the geometric multiplicity is 2 and if someone is asking you what is the basis for the eigen space it is nothing but your any vector is what it is a linear combination of this two vector therefore this you can see they are independent you can check these two vectors are independent so your v bar is nothing but the linear combination of these two vectors so what is your e the eigen space for lambda equal to 7 so let me write it over here so your eigen space for lambda equal to 7 is nothing but it is the span of which vectors it is the span of 5 by 3 10 comma 201 and this is eigen space and this two are the basis and therefore what is the dimension dimension is nothing but 2 dimension is geometric multiplicity for lambda equal to 4 always sorry 7 always write down for which lambda this is a geometric multiplicity if you only write this much and it does not make sense though here you are continuing for lambda equal to 7 but it's a good habit to write down gm for lambda equal to 7 is 2 okay so that's what the geometric multiplicity is and the eigen space is okay now let me just give you the upshot so algebraic multiplicity is the number of times the lambda will occur once you find the roots for the characteristic equation your eigen space is for this eigen value you find the eigen vectors then you take the span of those eigen vectors then that is nothing but the eigen space because span will form a subspace and that's why that space comes into here once it's a subspace you can talk about the basis and the dimension so dimension of eigen space is nothing but the geometric multiplicity for the lambda so it is nothing but it's a number of linearly independent eigen vectors for the eigen value lambda
okay now here you can observe at the start i wrote this is nothing but the kernel of a minus lambda i why so because what is the definition of eigen value eigen vector it is av equal to lambda v if you take this on the left hand side if you recall my first lecture on eigen value eigen vector this is what we have right now this is a this is a system of linear linear equations and what we do we take the determinant of this to be zero so that we get some lambda and we get a non zero eigen vector so this implies what your v bar is where it is in the kernel of this it is in the kernel of a minus lambda i or the null space null space is a different word so you can recall if t v bar equal to zero this means what your v bar is in kernel of t now here a minus lambda i into v bar is zero that means v bar is what it is in the kernel of this so that means what and what was your v bar it was the eigen vector so eigen vector belongs to the kernel of this okay and therefore your eigen space is nothing but this set only because if something is here that means it is an eigen vector that means it is in the eigen space and if something is in eigen space means what this product is zero that means it is in the kernel okay so to say that to talk about the eigen space of lambda is nothing but you are actually calculating the kernel of this map or the this, this linear operator okay so that's why many times you will say that people will define eigen space as the kernel of a minus lambda i or the null space of a minus lambda i and then the dimension of this dimension of kernel of a minus lambda i is the geometric multiplicity so if you see this somewhere in some book then don't get confused is the same thing so we saw what is the connection between the geometric multiplicity and the eigen spaces now let's see the final connection between the algebraic multiplicity and the geometric multiplicity so there is a very nice theorem which says that for an eigen value lambda its algebraic multiplicity is always greater than or equal to geometric multiplicity that means what your geometric multiplicity never exceeds the algebraic multiplicity and we always have a one non zero vector because that's how we find the lambda therefore it is always greater equal 1 okay so this is a very nice relation that one should know so for example suppose you have some matrix and suppose for that the eigen values comes out to be say 3 3 4 and say 6 6 6 6 well, let me take some say different number 9 so now what is algebraic multiplicity for lambda equal to 3 it is 2 because 3 is coming two times what can you say about the geometric multiplicity since it is always greater or equal 1 and less equal to so it can be either 1 or it can be either 2 what can you say about the algebraic multiplicity for lambda equal to 9 it is 1 because it is coming only once what can you say about the geometric multiplicity so 1 less equal geometric less equal 1 so your geometric is precisely 1 it don't have any other choice what is the algebraic multiplicity for lambda equal to 6 it is 4 because it is occurring four times and what is the what can be what can be the geometric multiplicity it can be either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 so these are the four choices your gm can have okay it will all depend on the matrix but i have just told you the possibility if someone if sometimes matrix is not given to you then with the help of this relation you can at least tell what are the possibilities for the geometric multiplicity once you know the algebraic multiplicity so i hope the concept of algebraic and geometric multiplicity is clear as well as the notion of eigen space now let me give you an homework problem so that you can comment that answer in the comment section so here are the two homework problems i have given you very simple matrix actually if you know good thing about the jordan form and all those things you can directly tell me the answer but it's okay just tell me what is the eigen values eigen vectors geometric multiplicity and the algebraic multiplicity tell me this for this matrix and suppose you have a matrix whose eigen values are pi 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 ee e. tell me the algebraic multiplicity as well as the possibilities for geometric multiplicity okay so that's what the homework is i expect you to comment your answer in the comment section and if you have any other doubt then you can ask me that as well and if everything is clear do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you